The Harley Davidson just announced their product lineup for the year 2020. And no, it's not an update to their existing motorcycle lineup. Instead, we are seeing a major shift in their strategy. The Harley Davidson we know today might evolve drastically in a couple of years. To be honest, this move is not surprising. It's a long time coming, as the sales of Harley Davidson motorcycles have been declining for the past few years all over the world. So it's about time that Harley introduced something that really talks to the masses. One of the most exciting products in the lineup is the Pan America 1250, a full-on adventure motorcycle from Harley Davidson. What a surprise! This motorcycle is built on Harley's all-new modular platform, which will be shared among many Harley Davidson motorcycles in the future. The Pan America 1250 is powered by Harley Davidson's all-new 1250cc engine. As of now, there is not much information is available about the engine. But just by looking at it, one thing is for sure. This engine is radically different than any other current air-cooled V-twins from Harley. The engine is water-cooled and the cylinders are further apart, definitely more than 45 degrees. The gearbox seems to be integrated into the crankcase. The Pan America features all the essentials for a serious adventure motorcycle like a substantial bash plate under the engine, productive tubing, Nobi tubeless tires, spoke wheels, long travel suspension, etc. But unlike other adventure tourers, the Pan America seems to be unusually long and low for an adventure motorcycle. The next one is the Naked Street Fighter, and I must say that I'm in love with the way the motorcycle looks. Powered by an all-new 975cc double overhead cam liquid cool V-twin, the Harley Davidson Street Fighter 975 is a sharp and sleek looking motorcycle with a densely packed hulking stance. There is no mistaking the Harley design influence on the Street Fighter 975. Every single component falls perfectly in line with the aggressive design theme. The neat and round but aggressively low mounted LED headlight unit perfectly balances out class and aggression. The sleek subframe for the passenger gives the tail section of the Street Fighter a rather simple but aggressive look and is complemented by a great looking side cut exhaust pipe. This motorcycle has a great chance in becoming the stepping stone for a future Harley Davidson Superbike if they ever decided to build one. The third motorcycle is the Custom 1250 and it's the most traditional looking Harley in the lineup. This motorcycle has had a clear inspiration from the recently updated Street Bar. The motorcycle features the same 1250cc double overhead cam liquid cool V twin engine from the Pan America Adventure Tour. This motorcycle seems to be aimed at those people who want a traditional Harley but with some modern touches. With big balloon tires and a low low slung stance, the custom 1250 is unmistakably Harley. The last one is the long awaited electric motorcycle from Harley, the Live Wire. For the most part, the production version will have a similar design to the concept, which was introduced way back in 2014. Unlike the other models, Harley Davidson will start the production of this motorcycle in 2019, and that will probably make the Harley the first mainstream motorcycle manufacturer to enter into the electric motorcycle business. As far as the specs go, nothing has been released yet, but we should have more information soon. So what do you guys think about these motorcycles from Harley? Are they going in the right direction? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And as always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Or if you loved it, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you do end up subscribing, please don't forget to press that notification bell so you don't miss anything. See you guys next time. Ride safe.